No, you need to be on Instagram to help grow your personal brand and succeed in your acting career, but don't know how to do it? Watch this video because I'm going to give you my five golden rules to social media success on Instagram for actors. Welcome back to the channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome and hello! My name is Kat Elizabeth, I'm an actor and online entrepreneur based in Vancouver. Now, working as a professional actor and a professional marketing strategist means I have seen the power of social media and how it can not only help you land agents, impress casting directors and producers, but also open up opportunities like brand deals and things that you never thought were possible. So in this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about getting your Instagram profile and content up to scratch, whether you're an actor, performer or creator. And I have a little bit of a freebie for you at the end to help, so make sure you watch right until the end of this video. Alright, let's get stuck in. Golden rule number one is you need to have a fantastic profile photo. So not only does it need to be really close up and bright and fresh looking, please make it a professional one, not a little selfie that you took, it's just going to make all the difference. But you also really want to be looking straight down the lens because people connect with you a lot more and you get a better a better feel for the person's personality with those kind of photos as opposed to something that's very like artsy and angled and looking away which might be fine in your usual feed but your profile photo is your hero shot so make sure it's a good one now it doesn't have to be your headshot in fact I don't really like using my headshot as my profile photo because I find it lacks a little bit of personality your profile photo is the perfect opportunity to show off more of yourself so you still want it to be on brand but it can be a little bit outside the barriers of what you'd normally do in a headshot shoot. So for instance, my photo that I use is was actually taken at my headshot shoot. So same makeup, hair and outfit, but I was more relaxed in the photo and, and being a little bit more fun and quirky as opposed to being all, you know, serious, like look at me, I'm an actor. And my other tip is that even though we're talking about Instagram today, make sure that you use the same photo on all of your social media profiles because it just makes you so much easier to recognize. People don't always read the bio, they don't look at your handle, but they will see your photo. So pick one that you love and stick with it for a decent amount of time. Try not to change it more than sort of once to twice a year because otherwise it can just get a little bit confusing. Golden rule number two is all about your bio, which is often a very wasted opportunity that I've seen, especially from actors and performers for some reason. I think because we see these really well-known actors like celebrities that put something really like quirky or like that doesn't even make sense because they're just too cool for school. Unfortunately, because we're not celebrities, we can't get away with that. Like you want to use your bio for people to be able to find you, to know what you do and where you are and all of those things. So please just take advantage of the full amount of space. So things that you really should be including, now this isn't to say that it has to be written in a really boring and dry way. Use your personality, but make sure they know what you do, where you're actually based. If you're represented, it's a great idea to put your agent's name there or you know, website or an email address or something. And then you can also just throw in some fun stuff so that people can connect with you on a more personal level. So are you a comic book nerd? Are you obsessed with shopping at Target? Something that just tells people something. Uh, this is all part of building that personal brand of yours. So really think about the kinds of roles that you want to be going for and, and the way you want to be perceived and make sure that that fun fact or fun facts that goes in that section actually aligns with that and makes sense. Otherwise you could just confuse people further. Now question of the day is, are you currently using Instagram strategically to help your acting career or do you use it just for fun? There's no right or wrong answer, I would just love to know so let me know in the comments below. Golden rule number three is your visual aesthetic. I know it sounds so important but guess what, it actually is important. So your visual aesthetic is all about that powerful first impression that you create create. And while people tend to only really look at your actual profile on Instagram once and maybe occasionally they'll check back in there, like most of the time they're seeing your photos in their feed, you still want to make sure you create that really amazing first impression and that tends to come from with your first 9 to 12 photos. So the ways that you can create a very consistent visual aesthetic are things like using the same Instagram filter every time you post a photo or 
don't use any at all but make sure that your photos are edited in the same way so a similar amount of brightness and contrast are you always going to sort of do the blur so that you focus on the face are you going to you know add a, a border to all of your photos it doesn't really matter what it is but consistency is key it's also a good idea to think about the actual themes of your content so when you are being strategic with Instagram unfortunately I, I don't think it's a good idea to just post willy-nilly post everything from you know an ugly photo of your breakfast to you know a random photo of a snail on the on the ground like while it you know if you had a private profile and it was really just for you then fine post whatever you want but you do need to think that this is like a public photo album and people kind of use Instagram these days as much as they use websites to, to get an idea of who you are so what I like to do is have pre-selected some content themes that I know I'm going to post about and it's it's going to be unique to everyone but some ideas for actors specifically are obviously things like behind the scenes you know your health and fitness routine um, anything that's social is a really good idea friends and family can be great as well uh, and then make sure there's plenty of scattered images that are kind of a bit more high-end and professional as well because you just you want to show people like the professional version of you and the behind the scenes version and show that they're, they're not actually that different another way that I like to make mine quite consistent is play with how much white space there is. So if I have one photo that is a very much a close-up on um, in one square, the next square I'll make sure it's further away and there's a bit more white space around me and then I'll go back to a close-up again. And this just kind of relaxes our eye when we see the feed. If it's too cluttered and every photo is full of heaps of detail and the photos clash, uh, that can really just create a bit of an ugly look. Uh, another way to do this is go one coloured photo and then one black and white photo and repeat and repeat and repeat um, or you could go uh, a photo then a quote then a photo then a quote just ways to kind of create a little bit of breathing room which is going to make you look so much more professional and make it easier to scroll and enjoy your feed as a whole if you are sharing things that you design yourself just make sure you use some templates so they look consistent so if you know if you love posting you know, inspirational quotes from other actors, then design yourself a template or two templates that use the same fonts, same color scheme, and you use them every single time. And it's just gonna make your feed look like a professional brand feed, as opposed to, you know, looking like a dog's breakfast, as we say. But the number one thing I want to remind you is that this is public and the way social media works these days is that things can come back to bite you. So always be thinking, would I be happy for a, a, a well-known director or casting director or producer to see this photo? And if you wouldn't, then don't post it because once it's out there there's no going back you might delete it but someone can find it somewhere golden rule number four is all about your captions which is another really wasted opportunity a lot of actors I've seen either you know they'll only post something meaningful when they've been on set and they're like hashtag blessed hashtag grateful hashtag on set or they'll be hashtagging things about other you know famous actors and they'll just put in quotes from actors and well-known quotes with their selfies and things and it just it shows us nothing about you I think it's so much more interesting if you actually share some stories about what's going on what you're learning what you're up to you know find ways to teach other people and add some value to Instagram as opposed to just making it all about you all about your ego because guess what it's actually not this is a tool that can be used to grow your business and if you use it right you, you will see a, a change happen so I want you to really put a little bit more thought into your captions and a really good way to do this is maybe plan for 50% of your posts to be planned ahead of time so you can even pre-write the captions once a month and then leave the other half of the time to be spontaneous because you don't know what's going to happen you might want to post about an audition experience or the fact that you are on set or you know something will just come up that you feel like talking about and you don't want to like censor yourself because you didn't leave space for that caption uh, but if you plan some ahead of time you also don't have to worry about that anxiety of like oh no what am I going to post and what I like to do is I do keep um, a list of inspiration sometimes it's quotes sometimes it's stories different things so that when I'm feeling a little bit stuck and I've got a photo that I know I want to post I can have a browse and go oh yeah that caption makes sense with this photo uh, a couple of technical tips with your captions is make sure you break up the paragraphs so they're readable if you just write this huge brain dump and there is not one paragraph break it is so hard to read like that text is small and people just see it and go whoa 
too much. Um, I use later.com which is um, a fantastic tool for pre-writing your captions and it copies and pastes all of the paragraph breaks into Instagram but there are some free tools um, that do that as well. Actually later.com is free up to 30 posts a month so I'll link to those below. Uh, it's just a good thing to do. Another thing is just use emojis tastefully. I think it's good to have a few emojis that are your go-tos that re reflect your personality and are consistent and then also just make sure you don't use too many in any one post because it can just look really spammy and, and immature if we're being honest. Alright, golden rule number five is probably the most important one if you actually want your account to grow. So Instagram used to be an easy place for people to find you. Everyone used hashtags a lot more. There are ways of like hacking the system so that people discovered you and you kept ending up on like suggested posts and things like that. That doesn't happen anymore. So you can't just create this content and go, look at me, I'm pretty, people are going to follow me. That is just not how it works. Like we don't actually want to go out and just find pretty people to follow like think about how you use Instagram like generally we're following people that yes they've got a nice feed but they're telling us something that we want to hear so they're teaching us inspiring us motivating us and for you to actually get found get seen in front of new people you are going to have to be proactive and so you need to actually reach out to other people before they find you and start interacting with them that means liking their photos commenting on their posts, replying to their stories. And I mean consistently, like you don't do this once and think they're just going to follow you. Sometimes it takes time. Sometimes they'll never follow you back, but you've still got to give it a try anyway. A few great ways to actually reach out and find people that you're interested in following in are hashtags. So looking at industry related hashtags or anything you're interested in, something that, you know, maybe it's a hashtag that you use regularly. Start looking at that hashtag and see who else is posting in it and whether you've got something in common. But locations are a great idea. So someone that's been checking in where near where you are, see what they're doing, especially if it's something connected to the industry or a hobby that you're interested in. Another way is looking at influencers uh, profiles. So people that you follow and that you look up to that you feel like are in alignment with, you know, what you do and, and what you believe in. And then looking at the people that follow them and are commenting. So interact with their followers in the comments click through to their followers pages look at their stuff like comment all of that kind of stuff and that is just going to keep making you visible in ways that you weren't before because these days even with using 30 hashtags in a post you are still almost invisible if all you do is post most importantly you need to remember that none of this happens overnight there is no in, in immediate instagram success just like there's no immediate acting career success it takes consistency showing up every single day and to make sure that you do it consistently I really recommend that this is something that you actually block out time to do in your calendar so maybe you decide that three times a week for half an hour you're going to engage with other people maybe for a couple of hours a month you plan some posts ahead of time and if you're worried about having content to post I highly recommend that you find a friend that's feeling the same and start taking photos together you can become each other's photographer without having to pay any money for a professional photo shoot. Obviously that's the ideal. I love doing the occasional editorial style shoot so I've got some nice photos but these days people seem to re react just as well if not better to very candid looking real photos. So there's nothing wrong with grabbing a friend and an iPhone and just going out and having a fun little photo shoot together and, and start experimenting with how you want to communicate your personal brand, the way you dress, all of that because th that feels is going to start sending out messages to people about who you are, what your personality is like and the roles that you could play. So in the long run, this could really pay off in big ways. By the way, if you do want to make sure that you are building a consistent personal brand, I do actually have a free download for you, which is a personal branding worksheet and checklist to start making sure that your marketing presence as an actor is consistent all around the internet. So you'll find the link to that in the description box below. And if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos share it with your active friends that would need this too especially if you're worried that their Instagram profile is just not up to scratch and if you found this video helpful please type Instagram boss in the comments below so that I know thanks as always for watching can't wait to see you guys next time bye for now